Hi, I'm Rebecca Powers with Sterling Lancaster Community Television here at Animal Shelter Inc. in Sterling with Melissa Snitzer, the shelter manager, and today she's going to talk to us about small animals. This is Oscar. He's a male domestic short hair cat and he's about 11 months old. He is probably one of the most friendly cats we've ever had here at the shelter. Um, super outgoing, loves to be petted. We have a feeling he would do really well in a family with children uh, and he's also very playful. This is Chardonnay. She's a female domestic short hair cat and she's about a year old. She is a bit shy, uh, but sweet. She seems to like other cats. So another cat in the home could be a plus. Uh, we are recommending that she go to a home without kids under 12 because of her shyness. <music> This is Godzilla, the guinea pig. She is five years old. Um, she has an unfortunate name because she's actually a pretty friendly guinea pig. Um, she is okay to pet um, and likes to hide in her little house, but if you pick up her house, um, she's a lot more outgoing. This is Mango. She's a female domestic short hair kitten and she's about three months old. She is definitely shy but sweet. She might not do well in a home with children though. She might prefer a quieter home uh, and she will need time to adjust to a new home once she goes. Um, I have a feeling she will hide for a little bit um, but I think she's one of those kittens that will definitely come around eventually.
This is Nisa. She's a female domestic short hair cat and she's three months old. She's very scared. Um, she will definitely need a lot of time to adjust to a new home. We're thinking she might actually do better in a home that already has a friendly adult cat in it. Um, some, someone that can be her friend <clears throat> and show her that it's not so bad out in the world um, and she doesn't have to be so scared of everything. <laughs> Melissa, what kind of advice do you have for small animal owners? Uh, so some people might not realize that we have dogs and cats here at the shelter, but we also sometimes have rabbits and guinea pigs and maybe a hamster or a ferret. Um, so those types of animals can be rescued uh, from a shelter or sometimes from a breed specific rescue. Um, if you are thinking about adopting a small animal, a couple of things to think about would be the fact that um, they seem like they're not a lot of work maybe um, and good pets for children, um, but they really do require a fair amount of work as far as cleaning uh, and taking care of them. They do need their cage or living space cleaned uh, at least once a day. Um, and then fresh water every day and access to food pretty much 24-7. Um, um, and so these animals also should go to the vet. Um, some people don't think about bringing their rabbit or guinea pig to the vet, but they really should get an annual exam. Um, and if you have more than one pe uh, pet in the same house, area then they would potentially uh, I would potentially be a good idea to get one of them spayed or neutered um, so you don't have lots of other pets at your house eventually and then also something to think about is a lot of people decide to adopt these smaller pets as pets for their children um, so you want to make sure that they are being well socialized there are a lot of rabbits and guinea pigs and sometimes hamsters and ferrets that um, start out not being well socialized and really end up not being good pets for children at all. Um, so if you do decide to adopt one, make sure that you're spending a lot of time with the animal, um, petting it and holding it and exposing it to different situations in your home so that uh, it's not afraid of things and would be good to have around your children. Um, another thing to think about with smaller animals is, you know, they make little uh, food pellets uh, that you can give to them, but they really also need some more food to supplement those pellets. Um, fresh vegetables are a must for rabbits and guinea pigs. Um, also, sometimes you can get uh, vitamin tablets, um, vitamin C tabs, for instance, for guinea pigs and things like that. So it's a good idea to do your research before you decide on getting a small pet. <laughs> 